good evening dear friends and welcome back to my lecture series today we will cover a new topic of project management that is pert the full form of pert is program evaluation and review technique basically pert is a statistical tool used in project management which was designed to analyze and represent the task involved in completing a given project it is used when activity timings are not known with certainty and due to this characteristics pert is always known as probabilistic model in pert we are going to study three different times that is optimistic time pessimistic time and most likely time optimistic time is always denoted by a pessimistic time is always denoted by b and most likely time is denoted by m now we will understand each of them one by one so basically optimistic time it is a shortest possible time in which activity can be completed considering that everything goes exceptionally well and again it has low probability of occurrence so now see whenever you are thinking positive that is basically known as optimistic time you are thinking that everything or every circumstance is favorable to your project so you are completing your project time in a within that duration so that type of time is known as optimistic time the second is pessimistic time time of time will activity take if everything turn out against expectations again it has low probability of occurrence pessimistic means what negative you think whatever you are doing and you are thinking the longest time which would be taken that time would be considered as a pessimistic time and you are thinking that this circumstance will not favor our project but then also you will try to complete the project so it is considered as a pessimistic time and third is most likely time most likely time required to complete an activity considering all favorable and unfavorable condition so now most likely time is thinking both like optimistic also and pessimistic also and it is considered as uh, when we will complete the project it has high probability of occurrence all this three times would be given in question and for that we would now find out mean or estimated time it has a small formula that is t is equal to a plus 4m plus b divided by 6 where a is equal to optimistic time m is equal to most likely time and b is equal to pessimistic time after that we will try to find out variance so variance has also formula that is b minus a divided by 6 whole square so where b is pessimistic time and a is optimistic time again after that we have to find standard deviation so standard deviation would be always under root of variance but we have to see when we would be doing standard deviation no standard deviation will only see the activities which are on critical path a well known formula for all that is z score and we are all using it so z is equal to x minus mu upon standard deviation where x would be projected time mu remember mu is always time of critical path so whenever we would be finding critical path the total time would be considered as a mu and again standard deviation would be projected standard deviation so this we all know now let's solve one sum so with this question has been given we are given by number of activities that is a to j there is again pre decisor as we have seen in our previous sums this three times are given that is a m and b and again they have asked what is the probability that project will be completed within 45 days so now all the three times are given but we cannot draw the network we are having the sum we are having everything we are having network we can draw the network but we cannot assign the time because this three time as we have seen that is pessimistic time most likely time and optimistic time so we have to find out the mean time so for mean time as we have seen the formula that is a plus 4m plus b divided by 6 and we get the mean time so first of all step 1 remember we have to make this table so for that we will write the activities then we will find the mean time and remember the formula of mean time 
that is t is equal to a plus 4m plus b divided by 6 for each activity you have to time the mean time after finding the mean time you have to find the variance variance has again a formula that is b minus a divided by 6 the whole square so for first activity i had found out that is 18 minus 4 divided by 6 and we will do the square of it so you will get 5.444 Similarly, for all the activities, I have found the variance. After finding the variance, the next step is to draw the network. So when we will draw the network, we would be writing the time which would be mean time. In previously, we have found the mean time that we would be writing in a network and we would be drawing it. So now network drawing is simple like activity A would be succeeded and predecessors and that network drawn part we have covered in our CPM after that we will find out critical path so all the path like A to B, B to D, D to F, F to I, I to J similarly all possible paths will be seen and the type time would be added so the maximum time would become our critical path and that will also become our mu so that will also become our mu so remember this critical path the time would be considered as a mu for our uh, z score. After that, as I said, we have to find out standard deviation. So our step 3 is finding out standard deviation. Remember this thing, we have to select the activities who are on critical path. So a critical path activities were A, B, E, G, H and J. So we have to see the variance of that activity as I have highlighted here. We have to see the activities which are on critical path and we have to just add it and do the under root. So you will get the standard deviation. So that is 4.28 in this sum. After that step 4 is finding Z score, Z test. So basically Z test requires the three things that is mu x and standard deviation so mu we are having that is 40 as we have seen from uh, we have got from critical path x is 45 standard deviation is 4.28 so now what we have to just draw the diagram and always we have to see that time would be completed before that 45 days so we have to draw the bell shape curve and again we have to see that the mu is 40 and the uh, x is 45 so we have to find the time before that time before 45 days so what we have to do first z is equal to x minus mu upon standard deviation we have to imply all the values we will get the outcome that is 1.17 that would be seen in z table and in z table we will get the value that is 0 0.3790 and that value would be added here because it 0 0.5 is this much and 0. 3790 is this value so adding this both would be our percentage so our answer is 0 0.8790 so we can write our answer that 87.90 percent probability states that our project will be completed within 45 days so this was a basic sum of PERT thank you students